So in the next question, in a given AP, P the term is Q and Q the term is P. Show that N the term is P plus Q minus N. So very, very important question from the examination point of view. So let's try to solve it. So P the term is Q means P the term, I can write PP. So P the term is Q means next Q the term is P. Q the term means TQ. TQ is equal to P. So using these two, I want to frame the equation. Later, I am going to find the nth term. Remember one thing, to find the nth term, I need two things. One is A, means first term. Second one is D, that is common difference. First, I need to calculate the first term and common difference. Later, I need to calculate the value of n. So first, TP, P the term. So we know A n is nothing but A plus n minus 1 D. In the same sense, TP, P the term means A plus, can I write, P minus 1 into D is equal to Q. I call it as equation number 1, simple. Next, TQ means Q the term, A plus, can I write, Q minus 1 into D is equal to P. I'll call it as equation number I hope you can recall it. These are nothing but pair of linear equations in two variables. There are two variables. One is A and another one is D. Here, mainly two variables. So now, I want to solve this. Any method you can go for. Better is elimination. So let's try to solve these using elimination. Means, I want to change the sign. So can I subtract? Here also minus and here also minus. So, A minus A, both the terms are going to get cancelled. So, the remaining is very, very important here. Try to understand this step. P minus 1 minus Q minus 1. Can I write minus Q minus into minus plus 1 into D is here. D. That's equal to, can I write Q minus Q. Now, let's... Uh, Calculate plus 1 and minus 1 get cancels. What is remaining? P minus Q. Just shift this. So D is D is equal to Q minus P divided by P minus Q. So both look same but uh, in the numerator and denominator there is a change in the sign. So I can take the minus term out from the numerator. If I take minus out so what happens? Minus P becomes plus P and plus Q becomes minus Q divided by it is nothing but P minus Q. So both the terms get cancelled. What is remaining? Minus 1. So this is the value of D. I want to calculate A next. So consider any one equation. So better can I go for the first equation? So I'll write. Consider. equation 1 which is a plus p minus 1 into d is equal to q. So let's try to substitute the value of d in that to calculate the value of a. So a plus p minus 1 d value is minus 1 is equal to q. Next a uh, p into minus 1. Can I write minus p? Next, minus 1 into minus 1. It is nothing but plus 1 e is equal to q. I want a. Therefore, I want to shift all the terms. Minus p. If I shift it, it becomes plus p. And uh, this is q. And this is minus 1. This is value of a. Now I got a value and d value. As we know the formula for nth term of an AP is An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So we already calculated the value of A and we calculated the value of D. 
let us try to substitute the value of a and d in the equation. So the a value is p plus q minus 1. So this is p plus q minus 1 plus n minus 1 as it is because we are calculating n the term the value of n is n only and the value of d is already calculated it is minus 1. So minus 1. So try to multiply p plus q minus 1 as it is n into minus 1 is minus n minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. So which are all the terms we can cancel? plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled. So what is remaining? p plus q minus n. Therefore, we can say n the term of an AP, an is equal to p plus q minus n. A final. I hope this solution is cleared for you.